What up guys, welcome back to the Requintazo podcast Where we're gonna start exploring different truths Today's Monday Yesterday tenía una tocada And I saw a guy there that, that follows my stuff And he was like, hey, why are you still working? But he said it in a playful manner So I, I was like, it was cool So that made me want to make this podcast Because it's something a lot of people don't talk about Especially since they've, a lot of people never go through this People think that once you achieve success, you're gonna be like happy and shit. But honestly, the first time, because my goal was to do those 10K a month. And when I hit it, like for the longest time, I thought I was gonna be happy, you know? But as soon as I hit it, I became depressed and I made videos. And you could see those videos, like people were saying, oh, get the la vieja, okay? And I was like, what? But yeah, I see those videos and you could see that sadness in my eyes. and. People think that once you achieve success that like you're gonna be happy and shit. But honestly, the thing that hit me the most was like people work their entire lives to be able to like retire and shit. And I was like, and as soon as I hit that, I was like, what the fuck? Is this really it? Is this really the end? Like, is this the finish line? And I was like, for a whole month, I didn't do shit. I just laid down, watched Netflix, and I'm telling you, I was depressed, and a lot of people don't talk about this. And I was like, what's next? Because, like, you never, once you get to this point, like, people are always so busy working, and I used to be there, I used to work and shit, and like, you're always busy and tired to even notice. Like, that keeps you occupied, and you always look for, forward to the weekend to have fun and shit. But, like, once you actually make it here, and like, you don't actually have to work. Like, you start to wonder, what do I do with the rest of my life? And I found myself in that position, and, like, that's why I push purpose and your life's mission, like, so much. Because, honestly, that's the only thing keeping me moving forward right now. Because, like, I don't have to worry about getting a job or, like, paying bills and shit. Like, I don't have to worry about that stuff anymore. And, like, I want to talk about this stuff because I know that... That you guys who are watching my podcast, you're eventually gonna find yourself here. Like, you're gonna um, realize that money isn't everything. Once you find yourself in this position where you no longer have to work if you don't want to, you're gonna find that you're gonna want to. But not doing shit that, like, what you're used to, like your job right now, now you're gonna actually have the time to pursue your passions, your real passions in life. And I found my passion in life was actually creating these videos. Like, I like doing this. I like talking to you guys and, like, sharing what I've learned over the years. And I've realized that I love helping people. That's why I do these videos. Like, I do these because I know the few people that watch this is going to help them out. Because this information isn't given in school. It's not given anywhere else. I've received some messages already from you guys saying like, oh, Giovanni, thank you for making these videos. Thank you for taking the time to educate us young people. Like, this is the stuff I wish I learned when I was young. Well, I still am, but <laughs> this is the stuff I wish I learned while I was going to school. And there's a lot of shit they won't tell you. The purpose of these videos is to like wake more people up. And I know like I'm never gonna be able to convince everyone and that's not the goal. The goal is to like wake people up like, when I was going to school, even when at a young age, I always knew there was something wrong. Like, I sensed it. And it wasn't until I started reading more books where I found more people in common that thought the same things. That, like, I woke up, I was like, fuck. The system is broken. Like, school isn't the answer. And, like, that's my goal. Like, to... I know there's people out there who sense something is wrong. And... Like, well, as soon as they find this, these videos, hopefully helps them out and wakes them up and be like, shit, he's right. Ever since the day we're born, we're forced into the script. And, like, if you notice, at a young age, we're trained and socially conditioned to accept these things as normal. Like, when we're kids, we're sent to school. We're taught that Monday through Friday, we have to do shit we hate and look forward to a weekend where we could watch cartoons, eat cereal. That was my childhood. And if you ask any kid what's their favorite part of school, they're probably gonna say recess or lunch. <laughs> Even at this young age, we're socially conditioned to like accept this as normal. 
and this goes on into high school it goes on into college and it goes on until you graduate and until you get a job so maybe you're like okay Yoani, i agree but what do i do then what do i do now and you have to realize that there's two types of people producers and consumers the majority of people are consumers if you're if you notice we're taught to like like buy shit buy a house buy a car and that's what keeps us enslaved because now we're forced to work even a college degree could enslave you like once you invest all this money into student loans and shit like now you're forced to work because you have to pay these off so we have to switch from that consumer mindset to a producer mindset and what do i mean instead of buying shit now you create it you create products you create services you create solutions that help people out that's the only difference that's the only difference between people who who break free from the system and people who are stuck forever they switch that mindset from consumer to producer and that's all you have to do and i make it sound like it's it's super easy but honestly it's not and it's super hard and you're gonna find that you're gonna fail a lot but that's a good thing and i see that as a pro because if you try something out and you fail you know right away you're like fuck i failed now i I could try something else but the way people responsible people promote you you find the easiest or you find the the safest way possible and honestly that's the worst advice you could get because say for example people promote investing in stocks over your years and saving up and shit but you never know if you're gonna fail or not because the only way to know is wait until you retire and then once you like once you retire you could like sell your stocks and that's the only way you're gonna find out if you're actually successful and if you fail you're not gonna get another chance because you're dead that's why i don't promote that way last week i was helping out this lady because she was like oh i if i don't move my stuff from storage they're gonna they're gonna sell my stuff and like i felt bad so i helped her out and while we were there she, she was telling me the story of her hardworking dad and how he worked his entire life to save up and and work and finally be able to retire and honestly we admire those people because like it's admirable they work hard for their shit And he told me that he saved his entire life and that he was about to retire. And all his entire life, he wanted this badass truck, his mamalona. And he worked so hard for this. And as soon as he was about to buy it, he passed away from cancer. And I was like, fuck, this story hit me hard because I was like, a lot of people do this. And you, you, when you follow this slow lane advice, you're leaving things up to chance. Like you're hoping you get to live long enough to, to enjoy your retirement. And that's a sad feeling to give up control. That's why I'd rather like take control of my own life and like do shit that, that hopefully provides a better future for me and my family. So please, if you're watching this video, don't give up control. Don't give up your time. Don't give up your freedom for these ideals that aren't even our own we're conditioned to believe this way all right realize that wake the fuck up and uh i'm on this podcast here hope it helps you out and please share it i'll see you in the next podcast